Welcome or welcome back. I'm the Ink Archivist, here today with a casual little review of Ferris Wheel Press's new collection of inks, the New York, New York collection. I got a set of the three new inks in their charger set. This is from Drum Ghouls. They had the chargers available and some pretty reasonable shipping for just this item, so I felt pretty happy about the price for just getting a little treat. They include this little ink bar sticker, which I thought was pretty cute. Now the inks I have here are Grand Central Skies, which is a light turquoise with a silver shimmer, Lights on Broadway, which is a standard ink that they describe as electric purple, and lastly, Central Park Greens, which is a olive grassy green color. So here's a beautiful packaging. Ferris Wheel Press has probably some of, if not the best packaging when it comes to inks. It was different from what was shown on the website, but I do like this a lot better. It even has this cool little detail of this gold quote inside there. I love the attention to detail. The chargers have this gold branding on them, which is a nice little touch that makes them seem a, a bit more fancy, kind of like their large bottles, which are gorgeous. For ink samples, these are very narrow vial bottles, and the opening is not very large at the top, which uh, I'll talk about more a little bit later. And they have the three letter code for what the inks are at the bottom. You can see on this uh, Grand Central Skies, it is lousy with glitter. <laughs> But with all those details in the gold cap, I think they're very aesthetically pleasing, just like the bottles. Moving on to the swab, we're starting with that Central Park Green. And then the Grand Central Skies, which was extremely light. All of these inks are very unsaturated. There's not a lot of pigment in any of these. And it's the most prevalent on that Grand Central Skies. And as I stated before, they describe this Lights on Broadway as an electric purple, but I would describe it more of a magenta. It's extremely pink. I wouldn't really call it much of a purple at all, to be honest. Now moving on to the writing sample, I'm starting with Grand Central Skies since I just shook the bottle and I want to get that swab down while the glitter is still suspended in the ink. But as you'll see uh, with the 2.0 Hokuro nib and then the fine, this ink is so unsaturated that I really had a hard time getting it to show up at all with that normal uh, writing. I even brought out a dip pen that has a bit of a a juicier, thicker nib than the Hokuro Fine, just to see if I could get it to show up at all, and it did not want to show up. <laughs> so I apologize that you can really not even see this ink. I did try. And one thing you'll notice too as I'm <laughs> trying to dip this pen into those narrow vials is that I was really struggling. This was not fun. And uh, I keep having to go back and try to get ink because it's, my nib isn't going far enough to pick up enough ink. So, you know, I'm dry writing and railroading and then trying to get more ink and I can't because the opening is too narrow. So it was a bit of a bummer, especially since I wanted to try these chargers because Ferris Wheel Press's ink bottles have some issues and I've had problems with them leaking on me. Especially the glitter ones, I would shake them to get the glitter going and then uh, when I would set it upright, uh, ink would get in between like that rubber bit in the interior of the cap and then they would drop down the side of the bottle and it was driving me crazy. So I thought that these vials would be a good way around that because uh, they have a different top on them. But with them being so narrow, I'm still not fully satisfied that this is a great solution. Now getting back to the inks, uh, the lights on Broadway here is a lot more <laughs> readable than the Grand Central Skies as you'll see on the fine writing, and so is Central Park Greens. 
but I really like more saturated inks myself. This isn't really my preference, so I definitely won't be considering getting a full bottle of this. I'm glad to have tried it on the chargers and I'll get chargers in the future um, if they come out with something darker that I'm interested in. That being said, they did announce their 2023 inks and carriage and pens and they all look fantastic. So we'll see if I uh, end up resisting that temptation. I have a feeling like I might not, <laughs> but stick around and we'll, we'll see. Um, other problems that people have kind of cited with the bottles that I think are interesting is the 38 millimeter, which is kind of the flatter bottle. Uh, some people have said that they've had theirs tip over on them, so <laughs> I'm really glad that has never happened to me. That sounds ter terrible, especially since um, a lot of Ferris wheel presses are quite limited edition. They sell out super quickly. The Grand Central Skies here has already sold out on their website, so you can still get them at other retailers, but if you're interested in that one in particular, I'd say probably uh, jump on trying to get some while you still can. I will say though, for that ink in particular, I would only really recommend it in a very broad and probably wet um, nib because again, like this is not gonna show up in a lot of finer writing. It did show up better in person, I will say, than in the video. It didn't really pick up quite as well, but it's still not exceptionally legible. I will say of these three inks, the Central Park greens probably appealed to me the most. I do have a weakness for these sorts of muddied greens. As for uh, Lights on Broadway, it reminds me of Jacques Urban's Rose Seclemen, which is a darker and more readable kind of magenta color. It's a very classic and popular ink, so if you're looking for something that's you know, less expensive and more legible, I would point you in that direction. And in general, if there's any of these inks you want to see more of and you want to see a full review on, please let me know. Or if you have any questions, uh, if I have any requests, I'll get on making a longer review and maybe doing some more comparisons so you can find some alternatives if you find the need. But we're coming to the end here and I've got the final swabs. Again, you can see Grand Central Skies just uh, didn't show up today. <laughs> but these are very pretty inks, so just not really my cup of tea. I need something a little bit more pigmented, but let me know what you think and if you're going to pick up um, a sample of the chargers or a bottle of any of these, I'd be very curious to know. And uh, thank you for joining me today. Have a good one. Bye!